The best audio converter in 2025 is without a question the one in the Uniconverter 16 and I'll give you three reasons why. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter. One of the most important features an audio converter must have is broad file support, right? You need to be able to convert any music or audio format in one app. MP3 to WAV, WAV to M4A, M4A to WMA, and any other kind of combinations have to be possible. The converter tool in the Uniconverter supports over a thousand formats. This of course includes video formats as well, but if you ask me, it covers quite a few audio formats as well. Moreover, you can convert audio to video, video to audio, and of course any audio formats to any audio formats. Later, I'll show you exactly how the process goes, but first, let me talk about the next reason. The second important aspect is the possibility of bulk conversion. What does that mean? It means that you can convert dozens of files at the same time, which saves you a ton of time and effort. For instance, if you recorded a bunch of files in WAV, but you need them to be in MP3, you can just throw them into the converter and convert them to MP3 with a single click. Finally, having a fast converter is key for an efficient workflow. The Uniconverter 16 handles even large files with ease thanks to its high-speed conversion mode that utilizes GPU acceleration. The Uniconverter 16 uses parallel conversion instead of going one by one on the batch list, which also contributes to its speed. Furthermore, you can even do some trimming for the audio files before converting, which is an extra reason why this converter is the best audio converter in 2025. All right, now let's go over the steps of converting real quick. Obviously, first of all, you'll need the Uniconverter 16. You can get it from videoconverter.wondershare.com or the link is in the description. Then open the converter tool from the main interface. In the next step, import all of your audio files that need to be converted. Now, when it comes to choosing your output format, it can be done in two ways. You may set up one output format for all of the files here on your list. Or you can choose individually as well. This depends on your specific needs. Now, if you have to trim the audio files, you should do that now by clicking on the scissors icon here. And then in this window, you can easily trim the audio files or cut parts out of them. And when you're done with your settings, make sure to select an output folder for your files. To finish, click on convert all. Then the tool will process all of your files in no time. That's it, easy, right? Well, if you think so, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials. Leave a like before you go and I'm gonna thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.